today's video, we'll focus on a unique workflow you only find with Skahoy and our PVC controllers. That's called cruise control. And cruise control is easy to understand in a sense. Just imagine you're going down the road in your car and you enable cruise control. Now you can take your foot off the, the speeder of the car and it will still go at the same speed. It's the same with a PVC camera. You can let go of the joystick and have the camera move in the zoom, pan and tilt axis automatically for as long as you have cruise control enabled. And this is cool if you want to enhance the um, production quality by doing more camera angles with a single operator. A, an operator could start a creep zoom and then he could enable cruise control and set up a different camera while he is still having that camera creep zooming towards the target. So in this sense, cruise control gives you an opportunity to kind of have hands off PVC control. Multiple cameras can be set up while something is still moving and so on. So it's in the family with um, PVC trays, which is like automated moves and um, also, no, label preset is a different thing, but those are all unique Skahoy features. So to illustrate this, we have foot pedals because I think why not involve the foot? And after all, it's like cruise control in a car. So here we have a stream deck panel. It has one, two, three buttons, but we'll use this one on the left side. We also have an X keys foot pedal right here. Same thing. Uh, I guess this is kind of my favorite. It has really sweet form factor, beautiful design. And then we have a Del Taco standard mm, foot pedal mouse um, foot switch. All of these can be used to enable cruise control. So the idea is basically when I set the speed with the joystick with my hand, I would use my foot to hold down this one. And then as I release it, it would stop moving the camera. So React, so the software you see here in front of us is our orchestration software that basically takes connected panels. And today the PVC Extreme would be a panel and the foot pedals would be panels as well and orchestrate their inputs to control cameras, video switches, routers, and so on. So we have gone through that in many of our videos. Most of our videos will do this. So here we see the PDC Extreme. And first thing we want to do is to add a camera. I have a Canon CRN100 camera on my network here. And uh, sometimes I just need to quick reload to see it pop up in my device discovery. So hopefully we'll see it come up right here. Yes, select. There we go. So we have this camera CRN100 added. Let's go to the simulator and just see the camera move. By the way, to see the camera, I have a web browser behind me right here. So there we see the... There we go! Hello! All right. So uh, select the camera on the, my PC Extreme, and then I'll just navigate over here on the side to the joystick. Let's just try so to start panning. That's fine. That's my coffee machine up there. That's super cool. Now here, let's just make a zoom. So this is the creep zoom I'm looking for. If we can like start this zoom slowly and then move it. So I have camera control here. That is evident from what we see in the simulator UI. We'll be working in this UI quite a lot because it is so convenient for us to see it all on, on one screen here. Let's move over to the home screen. And in the home screen, I want to show you how we can uh, change the configuration over to include cruise control because it's so easy. You just need to go from the configuration, pre-made configuration called generic PVC control. And then you pick the one called Frameshot Pro plus cruise plus um, generic PVC control. So that's kind of adding a few features on top. What is Frameshot Plus? Frameshot Plus is this one. Sorry for the red edges. This is like an experiment, but I kind of like them. They're pretty cool. But anyway, this guy is a, a shot box kind of module with color displays, and it allows you to get visual thumbnails of your presets so that you, when you recall a preset with one of these buttons, you can see the actual target that you will get, the framing you will get. So, but that's for a different video. But um, this configuration kind of is prepared to also do that. Let's just make it a slightly bit wider here. So essentially, <clears throat> the configuration is capturing both of these, but you can ignore the Frameshot Pro. If you wanted to add the Frameshot Pro in, you would just have to add a new panel by selecting it here. Today, we want to add additional models. We can see we have prepared it to accept Stream Deck pedal, X keys, foot pedal, and also the, the foot switch from, from Dell, um, Dell Com or Dell Taco or whatever it's called. It's some Chinese brand. Anyway, add panel discover panel 
And now it's looking on my network to see if it can find these panels. And actually, it comes up with the Stream Deck and the Dell Com foot switch mouse, all right? Let's start with the Stream Deck, all right? So I just picked this, and now it is there. So my Stream Deck panel is now enabled as a foot switch with my PC Extreme. Let's try it out and uh, see if that's all it takes. So we'll just open the window here so we can um, um, see this. All right, uh, I gotta prepare myself so you can see what's going on. And um, whew, I need my simulator in place and then I am ready to do Zoom. Okay, oh, by the way, let's just quickly introduce this. You saw what happened, you know, as I was adding, whoop, um, yeah, as I was adding the Stream Deck, it actually pops up as a new device. So you can see React or knows all the things that you connect into it. So even with this foot pedal, we have a visual representation of the foot pedal. It's right here and I can, even if I press, I think if I press these, you would usually be able to see that they are responding to it. Well, maybe not today. Anyway, the point that we should come back. Oh, now I see what is wrong. Okay, as I change this, apparently, I also lost the registration of my camera. So I just need to real quick add that back in. So we can now add the camera here. Okay, what happens if I press this one? No, okay. So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's oops, zoom in on my zoom switch. And do I have creep zoom control? And I'm now pressing the foot pedal and I'm releasing my hand and guys, you can see the camera is creep zooming for as long as I hold this one down, so I'll release it and it stops creep zooming. I think you get the point. The same would be true if I did pan. So let's just do a pan. I press the foot pedal down, it is moving and I release, all right? So that's cruise control for you. Now imagine, and of course what you want to know is, is this possible to do with multiple cameras? So the idea basically is that as you are now moving and you're holding your foot down on this one, you would change to a different camera. You would pick a preset, you would adjust it with the joystick because you have the freedom to do so. And then you would release your foot from this pedal when finally you have that other camera in position and you have switched to it on your video switcher. So that's it. Now, today's demonstration is basically showing you that we have a variety of panels that we can do this with. So I wanna show you the same. If we go back to the home screen, let's just try to change this around remove this panel and then pick another one. So we have the Delcom foot switch, this guy. So let's try this one, a little bit easier for me to hold in the hand and show in front of you. So select and let's go back to the simulator. No, actually, yeah, let's go back to the simulator and just allow ourselves to see this again. All right, so let's do a pan tilt move, all right? I hold this down, holding, 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 hands free, and it stops. All right, let's try again. Let's do a creep zoom. So we have creep zooming. Hold it down, release the mouse, release the switch, and it stops. All right, so that works with this one as well. Now let's do it with this uh, X keys foot pedal as well. So I actually want to show you how do we get in touch with these devices? How do we get them to show up as panels on the network? Because it was so easy to just pick the panel from this dialogue and um, and that it worked. So I want to do that with this one as well. So I, I'm just stepping one step back here because you can see I have two applications running, the one called XPanel Hits and XPanel Stream Deck. Hits means human interface device. It is a tech word for USB devices that can integrate. And uh, I need the XPanel X keys application. So I'll just quickly set that up. Uh, you see, as I'm searching for it, it should appear somewhere right there. It is not installed yet, but, uh, mm. oh wait, it was, it was actually installed. Uh, X keys, let's try that again, but it was stopped. So I want to start it. I also want to enable auto start over here. And let me just quickly check if there are any issues to be aware of. I don't think so. Um, uh, we also see it's finding devices. Yes, it seems that it has found the foot pedal device here. So that's kind of all I want to do to just go and check if I can make it work here. So once again, now you see it's popping up. The X keys foot pedal is enabled. I can select it. 
I want to go back to the simulator and see if it works like the others. Here you see the illustration of the X keys foot pedal, but once again, we'll just focus on the joystick, which is what we need for control. And let's just see the picture here from the coffee machine. Now let's uh, try to move this and we'll just make a slow zoom here. I'll hold down the, the um, foot pedal. And now as I am releasing it, you'll see that it's stopping. So it's the same thing. So um, you may say, what about if it's not like the first key on these? See, that, that's one of the things. The reason why it works across all three by just selecting a different panel is because I'm assuming it is hardware component number one on the foot panels that will be uh, triggering and releasing um, cruise control. So now we get into the more technical part of this because you can just use it at this and then you know it's like the left first key on the foot pedal that will enable this feature. But if you go into configuration, I can show you how exactly this works because actually it's like there's a cruise control behavior which is mapped onto a particular hardware component on the foot switch. And uh, now I know that this is hardware component number one, the pedal in the middle is number two, and this would be number three on the side. It's the same for the stream deck that you have number one, number two, and number three on the side. Okay, with this one, we have only one, so that's always the same. But what if I want the middle one to actually do this? Now, if we go into the configuration, this is where it gets advanced, guys. So just stop the video if this is going to confuse you. You can just stay with the basic message in the beginning. But I want to show, to those of you who are curious, the PDC Extreme Frameshot Pro Cruise Control configuration has something called a key map. And key map is essentially where you'll see things being mapped um, from having like useful names, like a thumb preset definition behavior that will give you visual thumbnails on your Frameshot Pro to um, various other things. And one of them is called cruise control. So it's the cruise control that is mapped onto panel number three, hardware component number one. That's what this line says. Why panel number three? Well, because we actually have panel number one, two, and three in this like collection of panels, which is driven by the same configuration, because essentially that's what this one does. We have a configuration that spans across multiple panels, one of them being the foot switch, another one being the PDC Extreme, and the final one, if it was set up, the Frameshot Pro. And this is how we create modular solutions that just feels like a single panel. That's by having configuration spanning across them. But in this configuration, the key map is essentially what maps stuff into panel number one, two, and three, and all it takes to change from the left button to the middle button would be to change this number from one to two, because then it's hardware component number two that we use for that. So let's do that. Uh, actually, this is what it takes. So let's try it out again. We will see the camera here. Um, the foot pedal. Let's just move it. I hold it. I release the mouse. It keeps going and I release, all right? Let's go the other way, hold it, and release. Cruise control is actually a quite old feature. It has been with us for like 10 years, and now we have also integrated it in very flexible ways on the Blue Pill platform and with all our panels, which can take a USB input device, or it could be a GPI trigger as well. It's just, you know, any trigger that you can make or any, any uh, raw panel device that has a binary trigger on a hardware component can be mapped, as you just saw in the key map, to a uh, to become cruise control enabler, um, as we just saw in, in, um, in the key map we were looking at right here. If you want to control that side of it, it is a question of which panel and hardware component you're mapping this function to. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you're curious about more information about our technology, subscribe to this channel and follow us on social media and you'll get updated.